welcome to the session we'll discuss modes of formation of subject as and when universe of subject develop new subjects are formed so when a new subject is created the class number which is assigned to it should be given a helpful place among already existing specific subject in a scheme of classification without disturbing their helpful order it is necessary for the librarian especially classifier and classificationist to study various ways by which universe of knowledge is fragmented into specific areas there are three kinds of subjects simple subject compound subject and complex subject modes of formation of simple subject they are fission dissection denudation fusion distillation agglomeration and cluster there are two kinds of modes of formation of compound subjects they are lamination kind 1 lan and lamination kind 2 complex subject modes of formation of complex subject is also called as loose assemblage they are three in kind kind 1 kind 2 and kind 3 let us discuss modes of formation of simple subject fission basic subject split into divisions this process known as fragmentation so when the basic subjects are split into divisions you find increasing intention and decreasing extension of subjects there are three kinds of fission they are traditional fission system fission and special fission in case of traditional fission especially in the main class b mathematics it's divided into canonical subdivisions they are called traditional fission and system fission in the main class l medicine we have systems systems means special school of thought like ayurveda homeopathy siddha yunani and naturopathy in case of special fusion that is specialization child medicine female medicine etc dissection cutting a universe of entities into parts of coordinate status they are called dissection classes are ranked equally each part is called lamina for example universe of library they are categorized into public academic special and contact library take the example of academic library they are categorized into school college and university library and if you take the college library they are categorized into professional and non professional colleges and in the professional medical engineering and others and in the main class uh, in the ddc the 10 main classes are there and it is divided in 100 divisions and uh, 100 divisions are divided into 1000 sections and uh, in the vedic period the universe of knowledge is divided into dharma artha karma and moksha and if you take the example of vedas they are divided into rigvedas yajurveda samaveda and atharvaveda the next is denudation the progress decrease of extension and increase of intention of a basic subject or isolate idea even as we excavate a well is called denudation for example universe of geographical areas in cc colon classification 444411 and 4413 then in the ddc the table to give you the geographical area 5 is asia 54 india 548 south india and 548 southern karnataka then fusion two or more main subject are fused together in such a way that each of them loses individuality in respect of schedules of isolate needed to form this complex complex subject for example geophysics geology plus physics they are fused together and form new subject geophysics then distillation it give rise to primary basic subject in this mode pure discipline is evolved as primary basic subject from its compound subject for example research methodology next one is agglomeration it is also called as partial comprehension it is subject comprehending several succeeding consecutive basic subject and having some essential characteristics in common agglomeration has meaning only with reference to main subject recognized and enumerated in the schedule 
this mode of development is used in some partial context usually in the context of main class so for example agglomeration say lower case a general classes lower case a is general classes the capital letters forms natural sciences n to s humanities t to z social science for example bio biological sciences it is an agglomeration of classes including zoology botany medicine pharmacognosy then cluster it is formally known as subject bundle a new sub new kind of agglomeration of subject is formed and a new subject is constructed for example indian philosophy indian culture indian history etc then the modes of formation of compound subject compound subject is designed as a subject a basic subject and one or more isolated idea as a component the subject comprehended from basic subject but distinct from each other there are two modes of formation of compound subject lamination kind 1 and lamination kind 2 lamination kind 1 one or more isolate laminated or basic facet this results a compound subject just as sandwich which is prepared by a laying a layer of vegetable on a slice of bread when a subject has more than one direction it is called lamination for example lamination kind one example curriculum of university education in india where in higher education there are curriculum and india these are the two layers then lamination kind 2 two. two or more sub facets of a compound facet are laminated over one another it is known as superimposition device the next modes of formation of complex subject it is also called as loose assemblage there are three kinds of loose assemblage loose assemblage is assembling together two or more subject and isolate ideas assembling is done to express possible relation between the subject loose assemblage kind 1 in this kind we study the phase relations between two or more subject two or more different subject there are five kinds of inter subject phase relation general phase relation bias phase relation comparison phase relation difference phase relation and influencing phase relation so in case of general phase relation we study the general relation between two or more subject in case of bias phase relation we study one subject is biased towards another subject for example computer science bias towards the psychology then or psychology for teachers it is a bias phase relation comparison phase relation in this phase relation we study the comparative study of two or more subject say so comparative study of botany and agriculture and the difference phase relation in this we study the difference between two or more subject say so difference between economics and political science a difference between medicine and agriculture then influencing phase relation in this phase relation we study the relationship between two or more subject subject that is influencing phase relation one subject is influence over another subject for example influence of computer science on library science the next one is inter facet phase relation in the first one inter subject phase relation we study the relationship between between two or more subject differently whereas in the inter facet phase relation within the facet the study of relationship between two or more facets there are five kinds general inter facet phase relation bias interface phase relation comparison interface phase relation influencing interface phase relation difference influence in uh, interface phase relation so in the same way intra isolate phase relation where within the isolate the relationship between two or more isolates within the facets the relationship between two or more isolate here also there are five kinds of uh, inter facet inter isolate phase relation they are general inter isolate phase relation bias inter isolate phase relation comparison inter isolate phase relation influencing inter isolate phase relation and difference inter isolate phase relation thank you
Thank you.